my mom, on my level, you could be the very We are back with another video. Positivity. We have finally got some positivity. Christian Eriksen has verbally agreed to join Manchester United as a free agent, according to David Ornstein. He's accepted a three-year deal at United. Contract has to be finalised and a medical needs to be conducted before the move gets completed. I'm delighted. But before we get started, make sure you guys like the video. Comment your thoughts on Eriksen. I reply to every single one. And subscribe to the channel, Road to 6K. But listen, Christian Eriksen, smart, smart business for Manchester United. Getting Christian Eriksen on the free, you can't complain. I've seen some people complain, saying he's not world-class and all that rubbish. I've seen the British media on TalkSport complain like they always do with Manchester United. But listen, we lost Jesse Lingard and one matter in the summer on the free transfers, on free deals. Getting someone like Christian Eriksen in, who's better than both of them for competition for the squad, is going to do no harm. He's worked with Ten Hag before. I think, obviously, when he had a heart incident, he couldn't train in Italy. He couldn't train at, with Inter Milan due to the laws and stuff. So he trained with Ajax. And Ericsson obviously impressed Ten Hag. Ten Hag probably impressed Ericsson because I think that's one of the main reasons he's joining Manchester United. The project, the manager. Ten Hag is a massive, massive factor in, obviously, the signing of Christian Ericsson. And whether people think he starts or not, that's a different story. Isn't it? I, I've said this. Do I think technically he's more gifted than Bruno Fernandes? 100%. But obviously, I think Bruno Fernandes probably starts this season for this club as the main number 10. But at the end of the day, competition for places. If Ericsson comes in, potentially probably the Europa League games at the start, the odd Premier League game, League Cup game, and he impresses, he will be the guy. Like This is what I said. Everyone has to uh, be in the team by merit. And now we've got Christian Eriksen for that number 10 if we do play that 4 2 3 one compete for one place. Eriksen, Bruno Fernandes, Donny van der Beek. Obviously, Eriksen and Donny van der Beek can play a bit deeper, but it's competition for places and the level of competition is very, very nice. Ten Hag, I think there's a report that said, obviously, he wanted to up the technical, technical level of the squad. We've been saying that throughout last season. The technical level of the squad is not great. And Christian Eriksen is a player that is great technically. So you're, you can't complain. And obviously, just in case we do have a major right-wing crisis, he could also play on the right. He's shown it for Spurs in the past. Versatility, he brings it. And as a squad player, potentially, he can play in the 10. He can play a bit deeper. He can play on the right. You can't complain. And I think there was a report a couple of weeks ago saying he should be on around 150k. If that is true, that is not bad, you know, for a player of his quality and a player what that a lot of people had doubts when he came to Brentford, obviously after what had happened. But listen, he got one uh, goal, four assists in, what, 10 starts for them. He was very, very impressive, especially in the second half of the season, which led to Brentford, obviously, performing, getting a lot of wins towards that period. He even, what, when Brentford played Manchester United at Old Trafford, Christian Eriksen put in a couple of very, very good balls for Ivan Tony that game. He had a decent game and was probably Brentford's best player on that pitch that day. So you can't complain about this signing. Overall Premier League pedigree, he has it as well. In the Premier League, he's been there, he's been... He's played in the Premier League for eight seasons, 216 start, starts, 52 goals, 66 assists, which is 0.55 goal contributions per 90, which is very, very good. Because you look at Christian Eriksen, he's more than just numbers kind of thing, isn't it? He oozes ability. And you can see, obviously, set pieces towards the end of Tottenham. He weren't the best, but we know Christian Eriksen has a decent delivery. And obviously, if Cristiano Ronaldo stays, that's something that could provide a decent little partnership. But overall... Extremely happy with his deal. Cannot complain. This is a big week for Manchester United now. Christian Eriksen over the line. Malassia, I think, is having his medical today. His second part of his medical. So hopefully that gets confirmed potentially today or tomorrow. And then obviously the De Jong and uh, Lissandro Martinez saga continues, in it? And if we can get, as, as I said, I wanted five signings in this window. If we do get five signings, fair play to obviously John Metal, Ten Hag and the rest of the board. But job's not done yet. We still need more. This is one part of the puzzle. We need a lot more. But one thing I do want to say quickly on Christian Eriksen as well, yeah? Because I've seen a lot of people say, oh, why did he take so long deciding between Manchester United and Brentford? That's a positive. Because this could have been just an easy paycheck for Christian Eriksen. This is his last big contract, but he had a thought, he had a think. This is clearly not a money-motivated move for Christian Eriksen. Obviously, finances do matter, but it's more of a project. I think this is where... 
as I said before, the Ten Hag factor is massive in this scenario because obviously he could have easily stayed in London. His family wouldn't have to relocate. He's comfortable there. And that's why he had a lot of fault, I think. And potentially he might think to himself that he owes Brentford a lot because they took that risk on him after what, after what had happened. So don't like he still has something to prove in it. And I think this is a player that's going to be internally motivated to perform again. Perform at the highest level, Europa League. Hopefully get us back into the Champions League because of what's happened. That that could, obviously what had happened is obviously a negative, but he can channel all that stuff and make it into a positive. And which is why I'm like, it, this is not one last big payday for Christian Eriks. As much as I criticize United for making signings of the older age, I don't think this is that this falls into the that bracket. He's still only thirty, like it's still not a bad age, especially considering he's not going to be playing every single game for Manchester United next season. Is he going to be... A, if, I think he starts a lot more than people think. I'll be honest. Because if Ten Hag was that ha um, pushing for the signing, and obviously there's reports from obviously a couple uh, Dutch media um, sources that Ten Hag really, really wanted him and stuff, innit? and he was very, very impressed of, of his comeback to um, professional football. So let's see, innit? Let's see. Straight away, him or Bruno, listen... In my eyes, Eriks is more technically gifted. I think Bruno Fernandes probably starts. But at the same time, don't be surprised, innit? Don't be surprised if Christian Eriksen comes in and just faces Bruno Fernandes. Or maybe play slightly deeper. Only time will tell, innit? Only time will tell. But listen, first signing of the week, or first positive news of the week, completed. Let's see what else happens this week, innit? Because this is a big week for Manchester United, as I said before, but... That's pretty much it for Christian Eriksen. I'm, I'm very, very happy with his deal. But talks will can continue complaining. But we'll see, innit? We'll see. Hopefully, Christian Eriksen works out for Manchester United. Hopefully, Eriksen is obviously happy with his move and performs to the best of his levels. But only time will tell. But listen, big up everyone for watching this video. Make sure you guys like the video. Comment your thoughts on Christian Eriksen and subs subscribe to the channel Road to 6K. And I'll be back potentially today in Malassi gets confirmed or I'll be back tomorrow with another la live stream with Ty and Biz, which is obviously going to be interesting. So we'll see what happens. But big up everyone for watching. I'll be back soon.